Hello everybody. I have been asked to do a quick uh, revision on how you calculate the specific activity of an enzyme when you have a certain enzyme reaction. So here uh, you measure these enzyme reactions. You have a certain uh, volume of enzyme from a stock solution. Uh, you know the volume of uh, the reactions, very often you do that in three milliliters, and you eventually get a Vmax. And now you want to know what is the specific activity of this enzyme. So let's just quickly recap what does specific activity actually mean. So specific activity. Activity is usually uh, defined as the number of moles of substrate, number of moles of substrate that are turned over per minute by a certain amount, number of grams of enzyme. And with this uh, information, we can very uh, easily get these different numbers that we are looking for. So, for example, for the number of moles of substrate, moles of substrate, uh, what we can do is we can calculate that from the Vmax or any value that is very close to Vmax. Uh, so if we don't achieve total Vmax uh, with our substrate concentrations, then we can sort of extrapolate, as, at least if we are, uh, say, uh, 9 to 10 times above uh, the 9 to 10 times the Km with our substrate concentration. So it doesn't have to be exactly the Vmax, but very, it should be very close to it. So we have a Vmax of 90 millimolar per minute. So that would be 90 times 10 to the minus 3 mole per liter. That's our millimolar and minute. Uh, and so I probably should say here that per minute. And we know that uh, we do that in a volume of 3 milliliter. So here times 3 times 10 to the minus 3 liter. So I've got everything in the right units and I can cancel out the liters here. And the numbers are fairly easy. So the numbers of moles of substrate per minute would therefore be 90 times 10 to the minus 3 times 3 times 10 to the minus 3 and that gives us 270 times 10 to the minus 6 mole per minute. So that's the first part, so that's this part here. And now we just need to calculate the number of grams of enzyme that we have, grams of enzyme. And we have four microliter, we use four microliter of a stock solution, which is five milligram per milliliter. So let's see what we can do with that. So we have five times 10 to the minus three gram in 1 times 10 to the minus 3 liters. So here the 10 to the minus 3, that's our milligram, and 10 to the minus 3 liters, that reflects the milliliters that we have. And I multiply that by the volume of the enzyme, so that's 4 times 10 to the minus 6 liters, that's our 4 microliters, and again the liters cancels out. Actually the 10 to the minus 3 cancels out, and I end up with 
number of grams is 5 times 4 times 10 to the minus 6. So that would give me 20 times 10 to the minus 6 grams that I have here. Um, so what I now need to do is just uh, put these numbers together. So the numbers of moles per, uh, of substrate per minute, that is 270 times 10 to the minus 6 mole per minute divided by 20 times 10 to the minus 6 grams. The 10 to the 6 cancels out. Uh, the 10 goes and I have 27 over 2, so that gives 13.5 mole per minute and gram of enzyme. And uh, very often we don't have this as mole and, and grams. Very often we uh, might have, we, we might just uh, write this in a different format. So we might have 13.5 millimole per milligram and minute. So that would be how you can fairly easily calculate the specific activity of an enzyme uh, with all the information that you have. As I said, you don't always need to use the Vmax, uh, although it would be good if you could do that, but sometimes you struggle finding a, a, a good Vmax for that especially when you have something like uh, substrate inhibition, but you can use something that is close to the Vimax. Of course, you will get then a slightly lower specific activity than it would be in real. So I hope this makes sense and thank you for